hello friends so this is the fourth question that uh, will uh, we have a boolean expression and we have to implement it using nor gates so first uh, this uh, is a very straightforward uh, expression we don't need to double complement this because we can directly apply the de morgan's theorem here and we'll get an expression in or form okay so no need to do any double complement here we'll directly apply de morgan's theorem which is this x y whole complement x complement y complement z complement okay so we will get that so here it will be a complement or b complement or c or d complement okay so this is the expression now we have to implement it using nor gates so first we will have a complement this is a complement then we will have to get b complement this is b complement then we have to get c or d complement this is c or d complement now here is the important part now here it has not been mentioned in this question that we can use a three input nor gate it has not been mentioned so we cannot use a three input nor gate to apply these signals because we have already got the three individual signals a complement b complement c or d complement if it would have been said mentioned in the question that we are allowed to use three input nor gates we would have directly gave it to a three input nor gate then again complement it and we would have got the final expression but as it has not been mentioned anything like that we have to use two input nor gates so what we have to do we will pass these two signals through another nor gate which will give us a complement b complement whole complement then you have to again complement it through a nor gate to get a complement or b complement now we have got this portion and we have this portion so we have to do the same as we have done here with this and this all together we have to pass them through an nor gate a nor gate which will get us a complement or b complement c plus d complement whole complement okay again if we pass it through a nor gate it will give us a complement plus b complement plus c plus d complement because the complement of a complement it will get it gets removed okay so this is the design now here if it would have been said that we are allowed to use three input nor gates what we have would have done is that we already had a complement b complement and c complement plus d c plus d complement so we would have given a complement b complement c plus d complement would have applied these signals to a three input nor gate would have got a complement plus b complement plus 
C plus T whole complement complement again we would have used 2 input NOR gate and we have got the final expression but here the, it has not been mentioned like that ok so we cannot do that we have to go by the 2 input NOR gate thing ok so this is the uh, logic circuit and it required 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 NOR gates ok to implement this whole boolean expression now this boolean expression was straightforward here we did not uh, require this double complement thing because double complementing would have only made things more complicated directly see while going for any logic implementation using uh, universal gates do not directly go for double complement each time okay always observe the boolean expression what is being given how the terms are arranged then think how can i manipulate it how can i modify it in a way be it by double complementing be it by de morgan's theorem whatever how can i manipulate it in a way such that it can be implemented using the logic gate that i can use whether you are using basic logic gates or you are using NAND gates or NOR gates. For NAND gates, it is uh, it becomes comfortable if all the variables are in AND form. It is not compulsory. In some cases, it will be impossible to convert uh, OR expression into AND. In that case, you have to go with the lengthy process. But most of the time, it is the question is framed in that way that you can uh, manipulate it in a suitable form. Similarly, in NOR case, it becomes comfortable when you arrange all the variables, signal variables that are present in OR form by applying de Morgan's theorem or the double complement way. But here we did not require to do any double complement or anything. Directly we applied this uh, de Morgan's theorem and we got the whole expression. So always observe the boolean expression then decide whether you have to go for double complement or you can use the de Morgan's theorem there itself and you get a uh, expression which is uh, comfortable to be applied with a particular logic gate. Okay, So this is the fourth question that we have discussed and it uh, is a four variable expression. Now we will discuss uh, more questions, okay?